Hello friends! We are back again with another craft. And so today uh, I have this wooden, it's all wood, and it says post on here. And you can hang it on your wall and it put mail in it, I, I would assume that's what it's for. But I see this and I think, well, it says post, so love letters, right? Valentine's Day. I, I am going to be making more spring and uh, Easter things as time goes by, but my Valentine's Day uh, area in my Etsy shop is pretty much empty. I think I have the book in there and the last heart that I made with the flowers. So I need to get some more stuff in there. So I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go natural with this. So I'm going to do the uh, Waverly Antique Wax over this. I really love the look it gives to wood. You can still see the grain, but it darkens it up. Um, <clears throat> I thought about filling in the word, but I don't think I'm going to do that because um, we're going to make this into like a thing for love letters. So, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, get this thing all done with the Waverly. See how it gives it just a nice dark look and but you can still see the green. It's so pretty. And I'm using a baby wipe. It just helps to uh, distribute what you're using uh, easier. I'm keeping the words white. I'm not trying to cover or fill those in. The flowers as well. So this is that ballet slipper that I used yesterday. <clears throat> this is, these are like mauve type colors. Um, still would go okay, but I might, like if I use this, end up, well, I probably will. I'll end up distressing it anyway. So it'll probably bring it down to this mauve color. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Again, <clears throat> just doing as I go. <laughs> I think we're probably used to that by now, that I just, um, like, I don't know. I never have, like, a full set plan of what I'm doing. There's always, I don't know. And it changes. Even if I did have a set plan, it changes. All right, so I'm just painting this, again, chalk paint. It sticks to pretty much everything. I love this stuff. I also love the look of it that it gives, so it's like a matte finish. I'm just I'm not a I'm not a shiny person. I don't like glitter and all that stuff. The most I do it I mean some things it looks pretty. Uh I just never I don't work with it too often. Maybe if I'm trying to um make some snow shine or something like that, then I'll use it. But like this on um, the red, way too much for me. Okay, so I do have to do a second coat in areas on here that I didn't cover. I'm also going to go ahead and cover this little heart because this is going to serve as, I think, my button in the middle of the, uh, the bow when I'm done with it. So I'll just get that painted now while I've got the paint out. And it'll be ready when I need it. Alright, second coat is on, and I'm just going to go ahead and lightly distress this heart. Again, want to keep the pink, but need to make it my own. Just got the edges here. This heart is going to be on the bow that I'm going to make. Maybe, I mean, depends on the size. I might have to get a smaller heart. <laughs> I don't know exactly where I'm putting the bow yet, so I don't know if... Uh, if I'm going to need something smaller. Alright, so when it comes to these hearts, I'm just going to tap. I don't want to rub because it might take it off and then you're going to expose the glitter. But I'm going on the edges. Kind of tapping and rolling. And that should be pretty good. I'm going to get a my um, paintbrush to do the center part. I can't reach it with this. 
do this one. And also this heart. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so I have, this is the floral foam. And getting an idea of where I need to cut it down. There we go. That's good. That's tight. And now I can go ahead and work on these flowers. So some of these came from Dollar Tree, some came from Walmart. I'm not usually a big fan of Dollar Tree flowers, but these I thought were very pretty. I love the color. So I went ahead and grabbed them. and put some moss in the bottom of this as well. So I'm a person who likes things like symmetrical. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, obviously. That's not what I go for, but I do like symmetrical. I like things to look even. And it doesn't have to be the exact same thing on either side. It can be, you know, a big picture here and two small ones here. It, it could be on a mantle. It could be a couple candle holders and then a vase or something on the other side. As long as the weight is evenly distributed, I like it. That's just that's just how I am. I've always been like that. I just like that uh, that look, it's being symmetrical. Okay, so I'm thinking a bow here, maybe here. Um, I do want to put something associated with a love letter. All right, that's all I got left of moss, which. Not good, but it went everywhere. I couldn't find it. Walmart didn't have it. Dollar Tree didn't have it. Nobody had it. But I do need to fill in this area here. It just it looks too empty to me. This one is kind of bugging me because it is higher up than the others. And I'm trying to fix that. But I think I can only fix it by taking this off, doing it that way. Yeah, that's better. All right, I'll tuck this moss in here. I'm just tucking it. I'm not, if I push it in too far, it's gonna go to the bottom and you're not gonna see it. All right, so I'm sure you guys are probably sick and tired of watching me make messy bows. So I'm just gonna do this real quick and then I will uh, get back to you. If you do wanna see how I make these, uh, just go to the video. It's right here on my uh, YouTube channel. And if I remember to, I will link it for you because sometimes I forget that. <laughs> All right, there we have it, messy bow. All right, shake it out. And I have to do some trimming. All right, so that's basic right now and uh, I'll set it on here, but what I'm gonna do first is use this ticking. Okay, so what I'm doing is um, going over these flower things. All right, put this in here. Still got these things I have to trim off, but I just wanna make sure but I'm going to like this before I go doing all of this. 
All right, tighten that up. All right, so I kind of like it. I like it being little. I don't want it too big. And then I have that heart. Okay, what's happening here? There we go. So we have that. This cute little bow. It's so little. I love it. And then I have this heart to go in the middle. Now I'm wondering, this heart is too big. I think it's too big. I don't know if I have a smaller one. I'm going to have to look at that and see. But that's cute, right? Maybe make this a little bit smaller. That's cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. Alright, so I don't have a smaller heart, but I'm wondering if I can cut down the uh, this heart a little bit. I don't know, do you guys agree with me? I feel like it's just, uh, I mean, it's it's okay, but I feel like it's just a tad too big, kind of pushes down the bow. I'm gonna go ahead and try to cut this down and see what we can do. All right, I got it cut. Look at how little that is. That's one right there. And it's not perfect, which is fine. But it's very cute. So what I'm going to do first is go ahead and distress this bow a bit. Sometimes I use the black. Sometimes I use the brown. I'm going go in with the brown on this one because of the rest of the colors that are in this project. So I'm just using my ink pad, going over it. And as I've said before, it just takes the newness off of these uh, pieces that are, are not distressed. Some of these I already have tea stained and, and everything, so, but some of them are not. Oh, we can take off these now. I don't need those anymore. I leave those on for you guys if you order because it, it's so that you can hold on to it and uh, shake it out. Shake out your, your bow. When you get them, you're gonna need to shake them out to get them to be the messy. The messy bow that you're looking for. Now I want to figure out how uh, how to add a love letter in here. I don't know if I should make a bigger one and stick it down in here. So I think what I'm going to do first is make a big one, bigger one, and then kind of tuck it inside of here and see how I like that. So I am going to use a regular piece of paper that I have. What I'm going to do first is distress it all and get it get the white color off of it. And I just kind of do this with it. Again, ink pad. You can tea stain this paper. I've done that. Uh, the problem I have with it with doing this type of thing is that. Uh, when you do when you do tea or coffee stain it and they dry the paper gets very crinkly so in order to put something on it you have to you have to straighten it out quite a bit okay so that's that for now and this is going to get more distressed so that's just the base coat so i'm going to pick um this right here i def definitely want to get more of these that are straight across But for now, we are just going to put on what we have. So, get rid of that. And actually, can tear this. Just give it those frayed edges. And I'm thinking like tucking it in so I didn't glue anything in it. Something like that. What do we think? Something just tucked in. It covers the, the word post, but that's okay. You know it's there. 
kind of like that. So I think I'm going to run with it. So now what I need to do is these edges need to get done. And then I'm going to crinkle it all up. These edges are way too white. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the black. And I love how doing the, the black on this, on the edges, kind of makes it look like it was burned. Alright, so now, crinkle it. This is regular paper, so it crinkles pretty well. guys. So I went ahead and did the letter. I distressed it, crumpled it. I distressed it with the ink pads and so this is gonna go right in here. I'm just gonna tuck it in kind of at an angle like that and put the heart on here. I'll do that now. And then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to attach it kind of in here, not up here. I'm going to let it kind of do its thing at the top and bottom. I just want to attach it like in the middle. It's kind of attached actually right under where the bow is. So just something like that. All right, guys, what do we think? I think that's pretty. I went ahead and put a little distressing on the white flowers, but I think it came out pretty. We've got the hearts in here, the pretty bow. I love it. I love it. I think it's cute. All right. This can be found on my Etsy shop or in my Etsy shop um, if you are interested. So you guys have a great day.